ทำอะไรนะไปกี่โมงครับเที่ยวนี้สิบเอ็ดโมงยี่สิบ Yo what's up guys how you doing man have a freaking good day as always so now we are in Egamai bus terminal in Bangkok Thailand and we're going to be heading off to Pattaya for our Thailand 2022 travel oh yeah so enough waffle we're getting in the van right now and I'll catch up with you when we get to Pattaya see you in a bit check it out guys just got to uh, Pattaya now and a nice trip didn't take too long by the way check out this uh, gear knob pretty sure I can tell that this van is going to Pattaya I'm not sure if that's just used for driving it might be used for some uh, extracurricular activities as well if you know what I'm saying <laughs> anyway uh, we, yeah we're walking down to the uh, hotel now and uh, yeah we just got to this uh, new mall that I just noticed um, called uh, Harbour so we're just going inside now to check it out that would be cool if you could use it check out that you got an awesome like slide from one floor to the other so there you go then guys this is uh, Harbour Land or I should say uh, extinct land land of the friggin no shops it is friggin dead af look at it absolutely nothing here so yeah there you go then guys if you want to come to harbour land in patia i would not recommend it it's dead where bloody hell jeff the steak's gone another language center it's got well. like a friggin awesome like adventure park at the uh, near the top floor check it out like a salt course and everything ropes and climbing that is wicked fun adventure land so just got out big sea after having a little butchers haven't been there for like a eight years or so absolutely crazy anyway we're just heading off to the hotel now and after a lovely walk down the road we have finally got to our destination the hotel p plus hotel weird name but uh, yeah looks pretty good floor 1510 and check it out oh, that's not bad wow tiny af but nice nice room look at that nice little balcony and yeah you can see the swimming pool outside as well check it out just down there got a nice uh, You've got a little wardrobe, got a little fridge down there, we've got some water, a mirror, the hit the game. Flat screen TV, obviously a new aircon, uh, nice blackout curtains, bed, not bad, that is quite soft, that is quite soft. Look at that, that's a nice little bathroom. Sink, rain hit shower, that's nice. It's quite a tiny room actually, but um, for the price you can't complain, it's absolutely cheap as chips. So this room costs less than £6.50, less than $8, 250 bar each a night. So if you come into Paddy, I'll put the links in the description so you can check it out if you want to come to this hotel. Like I say, it's a pretty good deal, pretty good deal at the moment. Yeah, we're just about to cool off with the aircon for a little bit and then going to get something to eat because I'm feeling a little bit, little bit freaking hungry now actually, 18 hours fasted. We just got to a restaurant called Pankong Loi Fan, just ordering some uh, food, some Thai food, the first food of the day. We've got oh, another couple of dishes coming now, check it out. Yeah, so this one is a uh, Geng Som, it's a really like sort of spicy sour curry. Not that spicy this one, but a nice flavour in there. Got a load of vegetables as well, which is uh, absolutely awesome. Nice fresh prawns, absolutely delicious. Just got some uh, Lap Mall as well, which is like a spicy uh, pork salad. Really nice and meaty, this one. Yeah, the only problem is, is it's not that spicy. It's like made for like a freaking child, I think. But uh, yeah, nice nonetheless. And uh, what's this one now? Uh, so and this one's absolutely delicious as well. It's not a spicy dish, but it's got a nice bit of flavour in there, like sort of a Chinesey sort of style, and a nice freshness from uh, the seafood as well. Pretty good. And this one down here is called caramel, which is like a pork leg, which has been stewed, and it's in like loads of sort of Chinesey type of flavours and that, and it's quite sweet as well, and some like um, soy sauce and whatnot in there. Yeah, just tried the caramel, absolutely freaking delicious. It's like really nice flavoured, loads of like pork in there, nice and fatty, and you've got a nice bit of uh, coriander in there as well, to give it a bit of uh, freshness. We've got, we've got another dish. This one is called uh, Yum Kayoma. The yum is the, the spicy salad, and kayoma is the preserved egg, as you can see this one down here. Bit of a twangy sauce, got some peanuts in there, some chili. We've got a nice bit of ginger as well, which gives it a nice different taste. Oh shit, we got, you got another one. How much did you order? What happened to getting like one or two dishes? Yeah, Mrs. over here has ordered a load more friggin' food, so uh, yeah, check out this one. This one is, I'm not too sure, it is? Pa Gung. So this one is Pa Gung. I'm not sure if I've tried this one before or in the past, but I can't remember. Obviously, Gung is a prawn. And pa, what does pa mean? Blue. And pa means I haven't got a clue because it's not very good at Thai. No, it's a name language. So it's a, like a spicy sort of a prawn salad. You've got a load of chili in there, some mince and everything. It looks really delicious. So yeah, I'm going to put this to the taste test. Absolutely freaking delicious actually. It's got a really nice sort of twangy and um, spicy sauce and it's got some mint leaf in there as well. It's like a really nice salad. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get this one again. Might have to look at trying to do a keto recipe of this one. There we go, just finished eating at the restaurant. Pretty freaking good actually. So obviously if you want to check it out, link is in the description. So probably add a few more few more carbs than uh, I would do normally on keto. It's probably more low carby, but uh, I'm not too bothered when I'm, uh, when I'm away. I'm not going too crazy though with the calories though, so I'm still trying to freaking cut. Oh, by the way, check it out, guys. Here's a, uh, a bar that they named after me. Hot man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up on couch. 
<laughs> oh, though, YouTube, check out that. Check it out, we're in a little cafe now called Thai Beauty, just got a uh, mango smoothie, couldn't resist one. Absolutely freaking love mango, obviously it's not keto, but uh, like I say, I'm on holiday, I have a few more carbs, but like I say, I'm still keeping the calories low. But check out how beautiful this is, absolutely amazing, or what, how awesome is that, absolutely wicked. Anyway, again, if you want to check this restaurant out, it's uh, in the description down below. That's not the straw. <laughs> it's not the straw. That's the, the mix. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't work very well that. Recommend using the, the pink thing. Anyway, yeah, we're just heading off back to the hotel now and deciding if to have a swim or not. I'm not sure <laughs> what we're gonna do yet, but yeah, anyway, catch up with you in a bit. Cheers. Patia. Unbelievable, I just messaged my mate Dan and I said something about, oh, have we ever been to this location in Patia? And guess what, he messaged me back, well, oh, you in Patia now? I said, yeah, and he says, so am I. So, absolutely freaking unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, we're just about to have a beer with Dan. Look who it is. Oh, hi, bye, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's Mr. Bracha Chawa Nung. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> So after walking around a little bit, we went into a couple of bars, which unfortunately I can't show you because they're a little bit ow, bow, ticky, wow, wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a great laugh if uh, you want to come down to Patio and check them out. It's uh, yeah, really good fun. So after checking a few more of those bars out, we ended up at this uh, new one at the front of a uh, walking street called uh, the Stone House, and uh, they got a like live music with a, a Thai band where they're playing like some of these classic Thai rock music hits, which are absolutely awesome, which we uh, sung along to uh, really badly, not knowing the words well. <laughs> And uh, yeah, obviously I had a few more beers in there because it was Dan's birthday, so obviously the alcohol is not good for weight loss and everything can that, and uh, the beer is not good for keto, but uh, guys, enjoy the friggin' moment. Don't worry about your diet every single friggin' day. You can diet the next day, but yeah, these experiences are not always there, so make the most of them. Anyway, that's the, the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for day number two coming out soonish. And uh, yeah, make sure you check out some of my other travel vlogs while you're at it. Some of my funny shorts and my recipes. I've got a load of choice, a load of choices, a load of variety and uh, yeah let me know in the comments any information whatnot and all that rubbish malarkey and uh, follow me on Instagram Twitter and take care stay cool and I will see you on the next video take care and stay cool yeah